Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Economics Study with Farhana. This is about the part four of time series data analysis. This is basically the last step of time series data analysis, where I will show you different kinds of diagonalistic tests. So after following the part theory, you need to conduct different kinds of diagonalistic tests to find out the validity of your model. So let's get started. We can run different diagnostic tests for find out the authenticity of this model. So to find out if there is autocorrelation in this model, we can run the durbin watson test. And for this, we need to write the common ESTAT space DWAT SON. Then you have to press enter. Basically, durbin watson test result ranges from 0 to 4 and 2 means there is no autocorrelation and if it's uh, closer to 0 that means there is strong positive serial correlation if the durbin watson test result is uh, close to 4 or 4 that means there is a strong negative serial correlation which indicates that the value greater than 2 means there is negative serial correlation and value less than 2 means there is a strong positive correlation you will find the durbin watson test result where it is on point 999 that means it's close to 2 that means there is no autocorrelation in this study and if we want to cross check this autocorrelation result through the another test we can run this command estat space vgod fruy comma lax then bracket 4 you can provide the lags which have you got from the lag length selection so here you can see that the probability value is 0 0.50 and it is basically the Bruch Godfrey LM test for autocorrelation so here null hypothesis is there is no serial correlation as the probability value is 0 0.50 that means it is greater than 10 percent critical value that means we cannot reject the null hypothesis that means there is no autocorrelation in this study now to conduct the heteroelasticity test to find out if there is any heteroelasticity problem in this study then before running the heteroelasticity test you need to install this ITLM test software so for this you need to write the command ssc install y then you have to press enter then the heteroelasticity checking software will be installed after that you can run the command estat space im test comma y then you have to press now if the heteroelasticity result is like that 0, 0.00 and here the null hypothesis is there is no heteroelasticity and the alternative hypothesis is there is heteroelasticity so if the p value is significant that means if it is less than 0 0.05 then we can say that there is heteroelasticity problem here we can see the p value of heteroelasticity test is 0. 0, 0, that means we cannot check the alternative hypothesis and that means there is heteroelasticity problem and another result if we found that heteroelasticity p-value result is 0 0.20 that means it is greater than 0 0.05 that means we cannot reject the null hypothesis that means there is no heteroelasticity problem now we can run another diagnostic test to find out the stability of the model or if the model is best fit for this study or not this first First of all, you need to install the CUSUM software, and for this, you need to write SSC install CUSUMS. Then the installation will be completed. Obviously, you need to have the internet connection. Now, you need to run the command CUSUM6, then your dependent variable, then your independent variables, then CS CUSUM, then LW lower, then UW upper. 
then you have to press enter so on this you will get this graph now here you can see that these observations is through this line that means model is fallen between the 5 percent significance level that means it is fit for this study this is all about the time series model analysis so if we summarize the steps we can say that first of all you need to declare the data set as time series then you need to run your unit truth test of the variables then you have to find out your optimum lag if all variables are stationary at same level then you need to run johansson quantification test but if all variables are not stationary at same level like some variables are stationary at as difference or some variables are stationary at level then you need to run bound test from ardl so if the ardl model is co-integrated that means from the ardl model if you found the long run co-integration then you need to run the error correction model that is vacant but if there is no co-integration you don't need to run the vector error correction model rather you can run the simple regression model and you can interpret the result for finding the validity of the model and you can run different diagnostic tests for finding out the autocorrelation or heterodesticity or normality you can run different kinds of diagnostic tests so this was all about the time series data analysis i hope you will like this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel allah hafiz